has definitely been putting on work. It's it's one of the fastest improving Urians I've seen, honestly. It was like the first week he was out, we saw a lot of shenanigans. I mean, outside and of fastest improving Urian, fastest improving player, I would say, here. Oh, Cal. yeah, of course, there's that, too. It was just like we saw a lot of shenanigans from, like, week one Urian, and then, you know, we thought I was, we thought he was going to be going back to Nikali, and he totally didn't. He just stuck with the character, and he has one of the strongest Urians we've seen here. Mm -hmm. Now, always going to be an interesting matchup against Chung Li. Uh, you know, it's the ground game from Chung Li, so strong, but Eddie doing a great job of circumventing that, buying his way in with such abundance. The pressure, he's going to keep it going. One more setup for stun, oh. goes for the throw. Uh oh. Oh no, he's doing the Tampa Bison. Oh my god, but that little small shimmy, that walk speed from Urian. Don't, don't have the law, walk speed is all about the micro movements. Yeah, it's all about sending a message. <laughs> Ending the message, you know what? Andy definitely did that this first round. Discord Andy. Giving him one more chance to bring it back before another row. Now, Brave sweep in the mid-range. No, RDVI, we saw him you know, showing those Chung Li jump-ins, and I feel like you need to show that more against Yuri. Yuri, really hard time entering when it's right above his head, especially against a character like Chung Li that can change her jump arc with the air legs. Yurian definitely has to react really early for his anti-airs to work out. I would say he does have functional anti-airs, but there's definitely some a bit additional oh. startup they have to account for. Andy, though, has had some great confirms. Here comes RDVI, though, having a chance here with his V-Trigger. Good anti-air right there. Finds a knockdown. Can he make needs more, more out of more. it? Okay, blocks him with the Aegis, and a oh. lot of shimmying going on, trying to bait something out. <laughs> You know, at that space, I don't think Chun could have pressed any buttons whatsoever. And it's also unfortunate that the Aegis uh, triggers auto block at that point. So it feels like you're locked down. So you would actually need to jump away or backdash, and both are vulnerable to being attacked. So it's a really tricky situation. Just a hard situation. You're sitting there, you're, you, you feel dangerous, you feel like yeah. at the block, but you're off. Oh. And he did a great job of really capitalizing on that V trigger. And all he did was shimmy, not like so three much. Times? Yeah, not, not so much to whiff punish, but just so that her normal would suicide onto the Aegis. Yep, yep. So and he, finally, like, oh, you're still now. I'll throw yeah, you. Yeah, he's just like, look, either you know he can play extremely safe, and then he he only had to take a risk when he actually saw that she, you know nothing was going to get baited out from Chun. Oh, wow, somehow that didn't turn into a big neutral jump combo. All right, RDVI though gained some great damage in here. And I would really love him to see him play that Chung Li neutral a little more. You know, play behind the fireballs, play behind that stand fierce. But he's definitely playing the aggressor so far in this matchup. Ooh, what a whip punish there from Andy. Get the full combo, absolutely. What's the mix up? High, low, okay, nice little check. Great block, oh, but the block. V trigger. Blocks the overhead, but canceled it on block into the Aegis to protect himself. Such a multifaceted V trigger. I don't know, RDBI, he has his corner, get the damage, no! just not enough. Oh, one more, one more. Oh, Andy, Good no read. respect, just do it, he believed. Good read from Andy right there. Uh, Chun de definitely had an opportunity oh, for a Hicken from there off of the slide into V trigger, but didn't get. A follow-up off of it. Big drop there. Yeah, I, I think the uh, the go-to situation in that is just go straight to EX legs normally. It's like when in doubt EX legs. It's because he was in the corner, I think there was a different hit confirm to do, but just going straight into EX legs would have done him. Ooh, RDVI though. Better. Finally has some great low bravery here, calling out Andy's offense. I think he definitely needs that. So brave with the sweep. Oh nice. my god. There's another one. Andy just has such good offense. Once you get knocked down, it's just so hard. There's a stun. That's going to be a discord. Andy is definitely going to go up. 2-0 in this match. Wow, that was a really strong finish right there. And he really didn't have to play low risk at all. Once there was a knockdown, he was just like, you know, I have these six reads in a row. Nothing like, you know, Ume Shoryu's, but it was like, I'm going to sweep here and I'm going to uh, 